What is up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I know that I've been gone for a while. I took a break, enjoyed the summer, did a little restart, and also after five years of creating photos and videos, I think I have finally found the direction where I want to move with this. But I will talk about it later. However, what I will say is that this photo shoot is the first step in my new direction. Oh, and I realized that the step up ring from my 85mm Canon lens actually matches the filter thread on my Mamiya lens, so it will be interesting to try out Cinebloom diffusion filter on a film camera. Okay, that's enough talking, let's go to the record store. Since we were in the record store and they were playing some good music, I wasn't able to talk that much to the camera. You know, your boy don't wanna get a copyright strike. So I will do a voiceover and talk about the thought process and a lot of other cool things that you might find helpful. I took the first shot with a diffusion filter. Since it was the first shot, it got kinda burned. Or as Bob Ross would say, it was a happy accident. And then I took the second shot without the filter. You can definitely see that it has more contrast to it and the one with the diffusion filter looks a bit flatter with softer highlights. I guess for my taste, I like the one with the filter because I like soft dreamy look to my photos and that will probably be my go-to combo in the future. Let me know what you think. I wanted to give the photos a slight touch that would make the photos stand out and make them less casual. That's where this small light came in handy. Ever since I got it, it's been living in my backpack rent free. I absolutely love it. The theme of the photo shoot is lost in a record store where I try to show the main character's journey into the world of music. So this mystery shot with opening the red glowing box with records in it felt very suitable. Throughout the photo shoot, I tried to reflect the feeling of musical discovery and getting lost in the music. Usually I would never light the model from the front, because that makes the photo look flat and I lose depth in the shot, but this time, since it was relatively dark in the record store, I wanted to get as much light as possible on her face. The way how I light this scene, I use the window light as my key light and practical light to backlight the model, but to give the practical light a little boost and wrap the light around her face, once again, I use the tube light. The light on her cheek looks natural, like it's coming from the lamp next to her, when in reality, you wouldn't see that golden highlight on her cheek because the lamp was actually behind her. Alright, we're back home, so what's the deal? For the past five years, I have been doing many types of photography. One day I take wedding photos, next day I get flown out to a different country to take real estate and construction site photos, and few days later I would take portraits, all in the same week. In the middle of that there is food photography, concerts, events, sports, and so on. Pretty much all over the place, both in photography and video creating. So at the end of the day, I am everywhere and nowhere at the same time, because I haven't established my niche. One of the reasons why it has took me so long is because I started my creative career back in my home country, and then a bit less than three years ago I moved to the Netherlands, 
and I needed to start everything all over again because nobody knew me here. So I took all the jobs I possibly could. Frankly, it's been very tiring and demotivating because I also did a lot of jobs that didn't bring me any joy whatsoever. So on my time off, I started to think and plan what could I change or in which scenario I would feel happy. And I think I figured it out. I want to get into branding and fashion slash environmental portraiture. I want to work with brands and build a set and bring out the story through photos and videos. Lost in a record store was the first attempt in creating a branding concept. Nowadays, for many brands, it is more important to create a feeling that people will resonate and associate the brand with, instead of their product being shot just on a white background. I think that these photos could work either for a clothing brand with an urban style, environmental portraiture where photos can be used for a magazine or a website, product branding, or even the store itself. With these photos, I'm not only trying to sell the product, but also the story and feeling with it. That's what people get attached to the most and how brands create their communities. And honestly, I haven't felt this happy about the photos I have taken in quite a while. Because at least for me, these photos do create a feeling. Nothing crazy or a deep story, but you look at this collage with three photos. First she picks up a vinyl, then she puts on the headphones, and in the last photo, you can feel that she's enjoying the music. Looking at this image makes me want to go to the record store and listen to the music myself. So that is the plan. Eventually, I want to reach the point where a brand reaches out to me and says, hey, this is our product, this is our budget, and this is our message. So what is your vision and what can you offer? And I want to be the guy who answers these questions and delivers the result. But to reach this point, I have to build a strong portfolio and learn a lot of new things, but I am ready to do that. In the future, you will see more content like this, maybe not very often because one, I want to spend my time to make it as good as I can. And secondly, well, it ain't gonna be cheap. I have some cool ideas, but travel costs and renting spaces will be a hit to my budget, so yeah. But meanwhile, I will still take other photos and enjoy the process and create other content on this channel. And on this note, I think I will wrap it up. So thank you for watching. Smash the like button, apparently that helps. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And keep creating, buddy.